Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we have add feature like how to extract URL content like Facebook in this social networking websites by using PHP with Ajax jQuery. In previous part, we have learned how to share post in this social networking websites project. Now in this share option, we have add this URL feature also. So, suppose user has share URL with text content, then this feature will fetch meta content from that URL, and display under this share post block, and user can share that content. Now let's start discussing this topic, so we have go to footer.php file, and here we have go to jQuery code part. And here we have write, dollar with division tag id content area, with key up event, so when we have type something under content area division tag, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write content variable is equal to, dollar with division tag id content area, with html method. This method will fetch all content of this division tag, and store under this content variable. After this, we have write regex variable is equal to, this regular expression, this expression, will fetch URL from string content. For filter URL from the content, by using this regular expression, we have write URL variable is equal to, content dot match method and under this we have write regex so this code will return url array from this content variable now we have write if statement and under condition we have write url dot length value is greater than one if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have start write ajax request with first option url set to post action.php so it will send request to this file in second option we have write method and here we have use post method for send data to server in third option we have write data and here we have send action variable with value load URL content, and URL variable value has been sent as data, with Ajax request. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have write JSON, so it will receive data from server, in JSON data type format. In fifth option, we have write before send callback function, this function will be called, before Ajax request has been sent. And under this function, we have write dollar with division tag id content area with append method, and under this we have write this HTML code, so this method will append this HTML code, under this content area division tag. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function will be called, if Ajax request has been completed, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write HTML variable is equal to this HTML code. For make add link into this content, here in anchor tag ref attribute, we have write data dot link variable. Same way for display, image or video of URL, which has been shared. So for this, here we have write data.media. For display main title of sharing URL web page, for this here we have write data.title. And for display, meta description of link which has been shared for this here we have write data dot description so here our html content has been ready
for append this content into content area. We have right dollar with division tag id temporary url content with html method. And under this, we have right html variable. So it will display this html content under this division tag. So here our jQuery Ajax code is ready. Now we have go to post action.php file and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to load url content if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar html variable is equal to file get content curl function and under this function we have write dollar post url variable with zero index so here this function will return html content of url of dollar post url variable here it will fetch content from only first url only if there are multiple url in content then at that time it will fetch content of only first url only now we want to pass the html content so here we have write dollar document variable is equal to new dumb document class this class has been used for pass html data below this we have write at the rate dollar document object with load html method and under this we have write dollar html variable this method will load html data After loading HTML data, now we have write dollar nodes variable is equal to dollar document object with get element by tag name method and under this we have write title so it will store title tag data under this dollar nodes variable. For get title tag value, here we have write dollar title variable is equal to dollar nodes object with item method with zero with node value so this code will return title tag value which has been stored under this dollar title variable below this we have defined two variable like dollar description variable with blank value and dollar media variable with blank value After this, we have write dollar link variable is equal to dollar post URL variable with zero index. So here we have store extracted URL has been stored under this dollar link variable. Next, we have write dollar meta variable is equal to dollar document object with get element by tag name method. And under this, we have write meta. So this code will return all meta tag data, which has been stored under this dollar meta variable. For fetch data from this dollar meta variable, we have write for loop, and under condition, we have write dollar i variable is equal to zero. Dollar i variable value is less than the value of dollar meta with object length, and dollar i variable value is increment by one. So on every interval. It will fetch data from dollar meta variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar meta tag variable is equal to dollar meta with object item with dollar i variable. After this, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar meta tag with get attribute method with name argument is equal to description. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar description variable is equal to dollar meta tag variable with get attribute method with content 
So this method will return value of content attribute of this meta tag. For fetch value of OG double colon description meta tag, so here we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar meta tag variable, with get attribute method, with property argument, is equal to OG double colon description. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this, we have write dollar description variable is equal to dollar meta tag variable with get attribute method with content as argument. So this method will return content of OG description meta tag. Same way, for get the content of tweeter double colon description meta tag. For this, here we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar meta tag variable with get attribute method with name argument is equal to tweeter double colon description if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar description variable is equal to dollar meta tag variable with get attribute method with content as argument so it will return content of tweeter double colon description meta tag so here we have get description. Now we want get media content. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar meta tag variable with get attribute method with property as argument is equal to og double colon video double colon url. If this condition true, that means there is video under this link. So it will display video content in url preview. So, under this tag, we have write dollar media is equal to this HTML code. After this, for embed video, here in iframe source attribute, we have write dollar meta tag variable with get attribute method with content as argument. So it will add with it embed link under this attribute. Next. We have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar media variable is equal to blank. If this condition true, that means in URL video is not found, and not it will search image. So for this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar meta tag variable, with get attribute method, with property argument, is equal to OG double colon image. If this condition true, that means it has found any image, and it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar media variable is equal to this HTML code. And for display image, we have write dollar meta tag variable with get attribute method with content as argument. It will return image path, which will be display under this image tag. After this, here we have again write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar media variable is equal to blank. If this condition true, that means it still not found any image from URL. Then it will execute if block of code. And here we have write dollar media variable is equal to this HTML code. So it will display this not found image from this avatar folder. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In array first key. We have write title, and in value we have write dollar title variable. In array second key, we have write description, and in value, we have write dollar description variable. In array third key, 
we have right media and in value we have right dollar media variable and in array last key we have right link and in value we have right dollar link variable so here we have store data under this dollar output variable lastly for send this data to ajax request we have write echo statement with json encode function with dollar output variable so this function will convert data in json string and send to ajax request so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends here we have login into linda peary account and here first we have refresh web page now we have shared this text content then no any fetch content display below but after this we have put this url so here below this url we have see the meta content of this url like image title and description has been display on web page in another tab we can see the web page of this url which we have share so here we can see image title and description which has been display in search box now we have click on this post button and after click on post button then fetch content has been share in this system which we can see in below Now here we have shared this text and after this we have put this video URL After put this URL here below we can see the video content of this URL which we can see below now we have click on post button After click on post button video content has been shared into this system which we can see below So in this video tutorial we have seen how to fetch content from URL or display preview of URL by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery In next part we will add some more feature under this social networking websites project So friends if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial you can ask your query in comment box if you have liked this video please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also and lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials